cooking in the kitchen with Kristen. Cause Kristen is cooking in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Hello, it's Kristen. Have you had your BM today? Oh, that's good. Anyway, today is Saturday, April something, and I am making a Masters Pimento Cheese Sandwich. It is the Masters Golf Tournament this weekend, and I have been making this sandwich for golly Moses a handful of years now, and um, my, I make it for my husband, and I like it too, so I thought that I would make it for you. I just so happen to be making it today, and I'm going to make it... I'm gonna bring some of it over to a friend's house. So I'm gonna move the camera down and I'm gonna show you what goes in a pimento cheese sandwich. Hold on, let's go, let's do this. Hold on, one more. Oh, that's good. And you can also use it on your handy dandy coaster that you made homemade. Alrighty. <clears throat> okay, so let's move it down. Oh. Alrighty, so what you're gonna need is, I have three cups of shredded cheddar cheese, and you want to get the bar cheese and you wanna shred it yourself. Do not buy the pre-shredded, you want it like this. So this is three cups of cheddar cheese, I used sharp cheese, and one and a half cups of Monterey Jack cheese. They say that you could use regular, or you don't have to use the Monterey Jack cheese, but uh, I've read that the Monterey Jack cheese gives it more of a creamy type texture. So that's just what I read. I'm not a pro. Alrighty, so we have three cups cheddar cheese, one and a half cups of Monterey Jack cheese, and six ounces of cream cheese. A cream cheese packet comes in eight ounces, and I don't know why you just use the whole thing. So I cut the eight. I just wanted to follow the recipe. So I um, have the two ounces left in the fridge where we can put it on a bagel another day. All right, and I should have left this out at room temperature a little bit longer, but I just got home from the store. I wanna make this quickly for my husband and take it over to my friend. Um, she really likes it when I make this and it was her birthday this week. So I am going to bring it over to her and we're gonna have a cheer to her birthday. Her family is over today and another friend just got back in town. So we're kind of celebrating her all week. Okay, so we have the cheddar cheese, the Monterey Jack cheese, and six ounces of cream cheese. We are also going to use a jar of diced pimentos, and this comes in a four ounce, and the recipe calls for one four ounce container of it. Now, yes, I need to drain it real quick, hold on. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, can you see that? Isn't that pretty? I used to keep these jars. We had a, um, a dishwasher once and it stopped working or something like that. And I would store, I had a habit of saving every jar, jar of whatever I bought, <clears throat> excuse me, thinking I was going to need it sometime. And <laughs> we would open the dishwasher and I would store it all in there. And once we had a plumber come over and he opened it up and he looked at me and he goes, really? But he was a friend of ours. So, you know, he was a he owns a plumbing company, so he can be silly and sarcastic with us. So anyway, whenever I look at these jars, I, I look back at the time when I would store empty jars in my old dishwasher, but I don't do that anymore. So I'm trying really hard to not have lots of clutter and stuff. I think, do I really need it? So anyway, <clears throat> so I have the jar of diced tomatoes and I'm gonna do a half a cup of mayonnaise. <clears throat> I used to go light on everything, light mayonnaise, light sour cream, all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to recipes like this, you really want to use the full fat flavor. I would make homemade ranch dressing, well, homemade-ish with the Hidden Valley Ranch packet and buttermilk dressing, and I would do light mayonnaise. Well, if you do light mayonnaise in that recipe, it really throws off the consistency of the dressing. So if I want ranch dressing, I am gonna make it with the full mayonnaise and the full, um, yeah, the full mayonnaise and the um, buttermilk dressing. All right, so we need a half cup of mayonnaise, which is this, just about that. Very 
have a feeling this is going to be a little tricky to stir with all the cheese. But what do I mean I have a feeling? I've done this before. Okay. That's, oh, there we go. This has salt and pepper. We're just going to grind a little salt and a lot of pepper. Oh, it does call for cayenne pepper. It says an eighth of a teaspoon. We're gonna head on over here and grab the wherever it is. Okay, I don't know what my cayenne pepper is, but I will get that. I'm not gonna leave you waiting here. Alrighty, a quarter, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. And this is onion powder. So we'll do onion powder and garlic powder. A little bit more for taste. I follow recipes, but I'm always adding a little more of this, a little more of that. When I make my Chex Mix, I always add more than the recipe. And well, it turns out pretty good. And this is the garlic powder. Oops. All right, so now we are going to stir this. It is, a, I, and it could be a little messy too. <clears throat> so let's talk cheese. My brother Michael loves cheese. Oh my gosh, just kidding, he doesn't. He hates cheese. Who doesn't like cheese? Uh oh, that's my alarm. I have champagne in the freezer to take over to my friend's house. Alexa, turn off. Okay, so I am going to stir this and I will be right back and show you what it looks like. Hello, I'm back and I'm back with another sip of my BM. Mm -mm. It's a gloomy Saturday day, the Masters is on, the birds are chirping, and I'm making pimento cheese sandwiches. This is what it looks like. Is it the best thing for you? No, but when you have it once a year, that's great, right? Alrighty, I just got rid of my spoon. I was going to scoop it out. Hold on. Alrighty. Oh, do you like my Loteria apron? I got this at, I was gonna say Ola Mendy's. Ola Mendy's is a, a Mexican restaurant. Um, Alvera Street, about three years ago maybe, and at one of the little Mexican shops, and I love it. Loteria is a fun game. It's even fun if you wanna learn Spanish. So anyway, carry on, squirrel. Okay, so here we go. Oops, pull it this way. Alrighty, typically the um, pimento cheese sandwiches are on fluffy white bread. I asked my husband, what kind of bread would you like? And he likes sour dough. And I was going to say sour cream. Oh dear, oh my. That's where my mind goes. Um, anyway, so <laughs> I have sourdough bread here for him. So I'm going to make his sandwich and I will show you what it looks like. So... They put it on white bread and they wrap it in, I wish I had taken a picture. Um, I think they put it, let's see if it's on here. How do they serve it? In a basket with, a, it's wrapped in a piece of paper, you know, probably like a parchment paper kind of thing. Wax paper. What is it? Wax paper. Oh, wax paper. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> he's the one who knows everything <laughs> about the masters. We had, a um, couple of years we had a couple masters parties and I remember going to Okay, I better make this quick. I better make this quick because my phone just died. The iPhone storage broke off. I was saying we had a party. We I went and got a, a master's coat, green coat. Anyway, the master whoever wins the masters gets a green coat. And then I think don't they pass it on to the next person? I think so. Yeah. Anyway, so let's finish the sandwich. For some reason, I thought that uh, horseradish went in it, and the recipes that I saw, it doesn't. But it would be really good. Anyway, so here we go. And they cut it diagonally. <laughs> so, <clears throat> here you have it. The Master's Pimento Cheese Sandwich. Enjoy. I hope you like it. Try it. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.